Hello YouTube, it's Grosama. And here I have the Figure Complex Movie Revo, uh, pretty much a Robotech figure of the DeLorean from Back to the Future 2. Now, uh, before I get into the review, I do uh, apologize for the acoustics and the lighting. I still don't have my lamps in from uh, my overall um, household goods. And I don't really have this room kind of uh, soundproof, so that way I can keep the acoustics to a minimum. Uh, but overall, the reviews should still be pretty good, um, and I'm really excited to go ahead and get into this. Now, this uh, figure is actually the first of this particular line, the movie Revo. Uh, I believe there's 10 in total. That you got like Ted, you have... Uh, the Batmobile, you have some figures from um, Zootopia. So there's a qu quite a few figures in this line that are actually from uh, pretty well-known movies. Now just looking at the front cover, uh, when I saw this for the first time, I was blown away just, just from the front of this because it, I was just like, oh my god, there's an actual Back to the Future 2 uh, Japanese model. A lot of the models we get are those die-cast ones that they, they look really great, don't get me wrong, but I really wanted something that the Japanese really takes pride in when it, when it comes to their sculpting and uh, overall figure making. And as you can see down here, it does have the Back to the Future 2 and Universal logos. And then here on the other side of the front cover, you get a nice back picture of the DeLorean. As far as the pricing goes, I, I've seen it at the local stores for about $55, but I've seen it online for about $65. Um, and I actually was going to buy it for the $55 price tag, but um, I went to one more store just to kind of go shop around before I committed, and I actually found it for $35, so really awesome for me. And here is the side of the figure, just pretty much the top side of the actual DeLorean. The other side of the box pretty much is just going to have the side of the kit, and that's going to be pretty much about it. And the back of the box is going to have multiple different like poses. If you could really call it that, it's probably just more angles of the pictures taken. So uh, the main picture you see is it flying in the air with the flames in the back. Uh, it does come with a stand as you can see. So the accessories are going to be very minimum, but I really don't think this thing is going to need any other accessories aside from what it already gets. Now here is everything the figure comes with. So like I said, very minimum accessories as shown in the back of the box. Uh, one thing I will point out that I think is fantastic is you get this nice little, like pretty much a cardboard cutout of the Back to the Future 2, um, just like a little, you know, the, the title and little effect parts. This is pretty awesome because whenever I actually do pose this, this is gonna be the back of uh, this whenever it's actually posed. Okay, so taking a look at this figure, um, it looks really amazing. I think there's, <laughs> this thing is borderline flawless. Uh, obviously, yeah, they, they probably could have added a little bit more paint details um, just to make it a little bit more accurate. But overall, that's not really a bad thing because I know some of the, uh, the wiring uh, should have more red and yellow and all that. But that's really not a bad thing. And so one of the cool features about this figure is that it actually rolls. So I did not think this was gonna roll. I thought it was gonna be a pretty stationary kind of thing. But the fact that this thing does actually roll. So obviously we really can't talk about posability or any kind of joints or anything of the sort. Uh, minus the wheels, but other than that, there's no arms or legs to really kind of pose. So with that, we're just gonna go ahead and talk about the overall aesthetics. I think this thing just nails it completely like I mentioned before. Uh, there's really no room for error uh, outside of just a couple, uh, couple of the color applications that could have been you know, pretty much applied. So one of the things that this thing actually has as far as uh, any kind of joints is going to be these doors. Uh, these doors do open up like such. Uh, hearing that clank does kind of get me a little bit worried. But both of them do actually open up which is really awesome. So if you want to have it just kind of like sitting, you know, kind of just posed uh, on your your desk or whatever and having the little doors up. Now another thing that this uh, figure actually has, uh, for one, it actually has rubber wheels, which is a really great addition to this little figure. Um, they could have just used plastic if they want to, but no, they actually went with real rubber uh, for the wheels. Now if you want the wheels to actually come out, whoops. Uh, don't bring it out all the way, but uh, bring it out just a little bit like so and then you're gonna bend these and you're gonna hear those uh, little ratchets clink and you're gonna bring these out and then BAM just like so now it's gonna be in its fly mode 
Now one extra feature that this thing does have that I just really noticed is that the Mr. Fusion actually opens up. That is so, so sick. Now obviously there's nothing inside here, it's just a flat surface, but this little added detail, oh my god, this is, this is amazing. I never thought I would like really have a figure that would have so much detail into the DeLorean such as this. Now moving on to the accessories, uh, for the stand all you need to do is plug it in right here and voila, you have it now perched on a stand. It also comes with two flame effect parts, so we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the wheels right now. So the main wheel you're gonna attach the flame effects. Uh, the big side right here is actually gonna be facing down, and you're gonna place it just pretty much right on top of the wheel. Try and get as firm as you can, and you're just gonna place it like so. But just beware because these are pretty much on little rotating joints. So if you do like that, then the, the little flame, part, flame effect part is gonna go ahead and um, pretty much fall but if you just keep it kind of straight then there shouldn't be any issues all right and here it is in all of its glory um, overall I would say this is an this is an amazing figure to buy if you can honestly afford uh, like the couple of bucks that it will <laughs> definitely not a couple of bucks um, it's about like 50 to 60 dollars online if you can honestly afford that, then I would say pick this up. But this is really only if you're a, a true hardcore fan of um, Back to the Future 2 and any, or just the Back to the Future franchise and everything about it. There's honestly not much else I can say about this thing. Um, if you haven't watched Back to the Future, I don't even know what you're doing with your life. Stop what you're doing, stop this video. Go watch Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3. And I'm pretty sure that you're gonna honestly feel it's, it's one of the greatest films of all time. That's how I felt, that's how a lot of people feel. Um, I think this movie just trans, transcends time in itself. Um, it's, it, I think it's a timeless film, and I think uh, people of many generations down the line is just really gonna enjoy it. And just having this little figure, this DeLorean in my collection, it just it makes me so, so happy. Okay, so with that guys, I'm out of time, but I definitely appreciate y'all, you know, staying with me through this journey to uh, check out this review for this kit. Um, if you are actually really interested in, in buying this figure, uh, definitely purchase it wherever you can. Um, even if it's like, you know, 50 $60, go ahead and buy it. But uh, thanks a lot guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for any type of new notifications on when I make my new videos and reviews. Uh, other than that guys, I will see y'all in the next review. Bye.